Yeah, so this is a second generation immune checkpoint inhibitor combination for refractory colorectal cancer. So we know that conventional checkpoint inhibitors don't work in the most common forms of colorectal cancer, which is microsatellite stable disease. This is a modified version of a CTLA-4 uh, inhibiting antibody that engages NK cells and does not uh, fix complement. So it has supposedly a better safety profile. It likely has other mechanisms of actions that make it better than the prior generations of CTLA-4 inhibitors and why we're seeing efficacy. This is really the first first checkpoint inhibitor combination to be efficacious in refractory colorectal cancer, a population of patients who had prior 5 of few oxaliplatin and retikin, who otherwise would be candidates for either Lons or for regorafenib, which are minimally effective drugs. Um, the other interesting finding in this trial is that the efficacy seems to be confined to extrahepatic disease. And so while the majority of patients with colorectal cancer have liver mets, a significant minority, 20 to 30 percent, don't and they benefit substantially. So I think the upcoming research questions are to continue to benefit those patients and then figure out how to get the patients with liver metastases to benefit from this new combination.